Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday on the new month. Was it the second? Uh, was it the second of July? How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Craig. Grant, good to see you. Andrea, look at you. Mark, Ken, good to see you. <laughs> uh, shy or not, gotta say good morning. Gotta get it. Gotta get that blood going. How's everybody doing, Dave? Grant, good to see you. All right, guys. So listen, uh, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about what's to expect going into this week. Uh, first of all, we have a lot of new members that are going to be joining us. Um, you know, we're having some um, some little issues right now with people getting into the room, so we're just taking care of it um, as of right now. Um, something happened over the weekend, I guess, but uh, looks like a lot of you got in. But we're getting that up and running, and hopefully, we'll get be able to. Uh, People to start logging in but you know on a day like today guys on a the first day of july this only happens once every seven years that fourth of july does fall on a wednesday you don't know if people are, are are still away or coming back but you sure know that they're taking off on wednesday so i mean looking at what the market is i mean even the market being down i tell you the truth there's only a couple of things that are moving in my radar not a lot out there. I mean, as in trades, I know some of us already did pretty well on the GB, the GBR trade. We did well on this on Friday, and it's kind of picking up the momentum right now. But overall, um, a we'll, uh, couple things did move, and you know, and, and, but you got to know how to trade a day like today. You don't want to get too too uh, too crazy, too cocky, uh, spe specifically as the first day of the month and going into the Fourth of July. This is a very awkward time uh, to trade. Listen, Friday, we killed it. Friday, I told you to come in on Friday. A lot of people, they put their assistance in. We did really well on a lot of stocks. This actually was one of them uh, that we killed it on. This one went from two to four. I mean, 1,000 shares, $2,000 investment. Do that, you know, do that. Uh, if you only got 20% of that move, you made your six-figure salary. <laughs> you know what I mean on that one? But, uh, but yeah, so Friday was a pretty good day. Today, as the first day coming back, a lot of people don't, you know, they want to finish out the month pretty well. A lot of people won't get too crazy. So we got a couple of things that are moving. I just don't want you guys to get too crazy in the market as of today when it comes to trading. All right. So uh, let me uh, let me go out there and do some shopping, show you what's going on and see what's happening. Uh, first of all, I got a lot of people that were asking me about, about regarding about the IQ trade. Well, like I told everyone, I sold the IQ trade. I got out of 39 and uh, stock, I mean, just tanked with now like $7. We, we killed it. Uh, we A lot of us own it at 19. I even averaged up at 28. And right now it's trading at 31. I'm still a fan of it. You know, uh, like I said earlier, I just want to buy it back cheaper. I'm already out of it. A lot of you guys made you have more money than on that position than you probably ever made in a lifetime, as in points-wise. Some of you have never been in a position on a swing trade like that. But uh, but listen, I'm still a fan of it for my swing traders out there and investors. I'm, I just want to buy it back cheaper. That's all. Listen, if you loved it at 45, you're going to be drooling if it goes down to 20. <laughs> That's where I look at it. But um, but I'm still a fan of that one. I'm also on my swing trade. I still got the BJ trade. So uh, we're killing it on the BJ's trade. We owned it around. We own a lot of us owned it at twenty two dollars. Then went to twenty five. So uh, doing pretty good on that trade also. So I'm still a fan of that one. Now regarding about the day trades, what's going on? Uh, let me just go down the list right now. We have the RSYS uh, trade. Right now, that's got a nice little gap up move right there, up 131%. This one, it's just kind of flat right now. It's not really doing too much regarding about volatility, but it is up pretty big. So 351, uh, let me fix the chart here. Uh, just to me, from what it looks like, it looks like a buyout. You know, I mean, seeing it gapped up like this to here, uh, I didn't check the news yet, but we'll, we'll check out in a little bit. But to me right now, it just looks like a buyout. All right. ADMP. Can I spell that right? There we go. All right. So ADMP is another one. It's up 60% right now. $5 stock. Um, only problem with this one, you got to be a scalper. It's got a $0.05 cent spread. It gapped up pretty big early, early this morning at 7 a.m. But you're starting to break lower lows, so I'm not a big fan of it right now. She, is, she, she did test a major resistance level here on the long-term chart. 
you could see the major resistance. That's what's probably happening. But it's got to break this 560 to go higher. But also, you can't be no less than a level two trader to trade any stock that that is a uh, a scalping five cent spread. All right, so there you go, the ADMP. CGEN, another one I found this morning. A little bit nicer move. Once again, another scalper, 145,000 shares, up 16% right now. It's uh, It probably can go as high as a little bit above the four right here, that high right there. Probably right around the $4 price range. Uh, looks like it kind of tested and backed off. But remember how a lot of you here who bought um, and took my scalping course, remember how I told you how to trade these stocks? Okay, you gotta be really, really careful. Um, you make a lot of money on scalping, but you gotta trade the way I taught you how to trade. And uh, some of you guys killed it. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about making money. The big winner this morning, and a lot of you doing well on the pre-market, is the GBR again, and it showed that up again. Uh, some of us who logged in got an early bird, got the worm, uh, which I say got the money. Eight, uh, your eight fifteen thing went for four dollars to seven dollars. Some of you guys did pretty well on it. Some who did well already in pre-market. Uh, Tom, you, you said you already made two dollars on that trade, right? This morning. Good for him. Let's give him a round of applause. There you go, Tom. And you know what? Just to show everyone, two dollars is from four to five. He didn't even sell it at seven. Great traders never buy at the bottom or sell at top. We always buy in between. All right, way to go, Tom. So uh, you probably should probably you're done for the day, right, Tom? <laughs> Made your day's bang. All right. So the other one we were focusing on too this morning too uh, was the PED. We did really well the last couple of days. The stock from fifty cents to four fifty. Um, we saw some great iceberg orders on this position, uh, right around the 299 was it? Guy got executed, or 295 was it? Um, it's, it's got great volatility this morning, it's got some good movement. Not really picking a trend yet, but we'll see, you know, like I said, we'll see how she opens up. TRXC, the one I found this morning, gapped up about up seven, uh, over 7%. Uh, you can see it right here. You know, it's not up huge, but you know, she's up something. You know, seven percent. I mean, there's not that much out there. And then obviously, the big news is Tesla. Uh, Tesla says they they finally went to production on their new car of the uh, their new car that they're actually producing a lot of them. So it looks like they're going to hopefully meet their quota. And they said it might be profitable within the next several months. So Tesla, you know, listen. Are we really going to trade $362 stock? I just got to bring it up just to bring it up because you're going to see, I get tweets and I get YouTube videos from so many people and they're going to talk about it and say what great options there are on this and that. Listen, the less your risk, the more reward you're going to make. So uh, just be careful when you're trading stocks like this. You can't be no less than a level five trader to trade a stock like this. But I'm going to bring it up because people always ask me, what do you think of it? And I'm telling you what I think of it. Trade something cheaper, less expensive. It's the same damn money. No one's going to care if you made it on Tesla or if you made it in GBR. Because GBR was a lot better, less risky, more profitable stock out of all. All right, guys. Now, am I missing anything I did not call out? Anything I'm missing? Uh, gold just lost all its gains now at 12.47. Great. Yeah, I know. Listen, gold's been, it's just been, it's been trading within that $50, $100 price range. So, uh, you know, it's unless you're going to trade the ETF, but I'll be a little careful of that right now. Anything else I'm missing? All right, so I think we got them all. Um, Grant uh, Gary says, what about the MYSZ trade? See, now you, you're bringing up, um, you know, stock is dead. It's up 8%. You know, listen, you know, I'm not a fan of stock trading on the dollar, not because of, you know, it's under a dollar. So we're dealing with tenths of a penny. It's okay. Listen, we did really well with the stock. If it breaks over a dollar, which it might, I'll consider it. All right, because we did do well with MYSE, but a lot of this is all um, a short squeeze. MYSE. All right. Uh, Grant says uh, GBR is worth watching at six. Yeah, I know. Listen, it's got great volatility, but just, you know, right off the bat, I'm telling you. The stock is already a probably in the three category, not even a two. And if you're a one, you better stay far away from it. But don't worry about it. all the beginner traders. We always find something new when the market opens up. That's just what's going on in pre-market right now. All right, guys. So listen, remember, today is Monday. A lot of people didn't show up for work today. 
I know it's Canada Day. Let's all welcome um, all our Canadian friends today and showed up for work today. Um, markets open, so I know I think they. I mean, it was yesterday, but I think they observe it today. And then, uh, and then we got Fourth of July weekend. So uh, Fourth was I don't even know what's, what, what is Fourth of July weekend. Is it this weekend or next week or the weekend coming up? But uh, but the Wednesday definitely puts a huge wrench into it. So I think it's going to be really, really skeptical. I know we have a lot of great members that are joining us. And, uh, you know, one of the promos we gave him, we gave him an extra week due to, due to what it's going to be this week. But that's great. You know, you get to see what it's like. It could be on a slow week. Not this, not, there's no guarantee that that's what it is. But I'm just, you know, from my uh, previous experience and looking at my journals and knowing how things work out, I have 25 years of data and looking at my monthly journals, kind of know where, where we're at. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, all right. So anyway, uh, so good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Uh, do you, do we do we have any recommendations for today? Yes, I did. I already put them out. I'm going to put them in the chat right now. Okay, and then um, I'm going to put them in the announcements once we're done with our meeting. All right, Gunner. All right, guys. Listen. Good luck today. Once again, always remember: see something, say something, traders. And for all the new trial members, please make sure you talk to Education Advisor. Explain to you exactly what you do. Just remember, this is not a teaching room; it's a trading room. Just sit back and watch and see how the traders do it. Because remember, this is not for everyone, and that is okay. All right. So you got to learn. And if this is something you think you could do and you like it, and you see big winners, then we'll tell you how we teach you how to do it and how you can be part of the team. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, and uh, and uh, we'll see you back at two thirty for the afternoon meeting. Good luck, everyone.